everyone, I'm Lewis Kingsley. Welcome to WPS News. Ren interviews some students and teachers about where they will go for winter break. Let's take a look. During the winter break, I will stay here. I will play basketball because we have tournaments. I'm playing softball and I'm going to the Keys with my family. Uh, during winter break, I will stay here because we have a tournament, so I can't go anywhere. I just stay to play basketball. Uh, during winter break, um, I'm staying home and I'm going to Colorado for New Year's. As you may or may not know, we just had Shrek the Musical. Uh, I played Donkey and um, we had a terrific run. Uh, last showing was yesterday and, you know, three months of rehearsal and preparation. Uh, you know, obviously academics are going to take quite a bit of a, of a downturn, so I'm going to need quite a lot of time to kind of get back down and catch up on some of my assignments. During the winter break, I'm probably just going to stay home, spend time with the family, kids, you know, have a bunch of fun. Not my kids, per se, my uncle's kids, yeah, family's coming into town. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have a good time. Merry Christmas, everybody. I think I'm just going to stay home and just, you know, chill and do random stuff and play video games and all those wonderful things. I'm going to stay home with family, eat food, and nothing much that's special. I may go to the movies. Uh, I want to gain some work experience, but normally they don't hire a part-time job if you're not going to stay long. And winter break is only for like three weeks, so I don't know. Uh, so you yeah, just go hang out with your family, your sister, your brother, and then something like that. All right. To my visa. To your visa? Okay. Yeah. So. Bye. Thank you, Ren. This semester is coming to a close. We interviewed some seniors about where to go to college, and we got some helpful tips from the guidance counselor. Let's roll the video. I applied to the, these colleges such as Babson, Emory, FSU, and Indiana thus far because they have all the business programs that I want to study. I applied to Berkeley College of Music in Boston and California Institute of the Arts. Applying to college is so stressful because a senior year you're, you're, you already have a lot of things going on as far as like athletics, um, you know, homework and exams. The hardest thing I've experienced would definitely be the um, application itself. Not all the applications are straightforward and many of them take quite a while to fill out. There's so much extra work that's going to it, uh, essays, resumes. Try to know yourself as much as possible. Make sure that you are thinking about not what you wish you could be, but what you are. Take time on your application is so important. It's the one way the admissions counselors get to know you. My parents, they, they didn't influence me on where to go but they helped in choosing the right schools to apply to. They told me to just go with whatever makes me happy as far as um, majoring and, and wherever I think I'll be happy and be able to grow the most and thrive the most. So they've been pretty supportive. I think the biggest mistake a student can do is they pick a school, they don't go and sit in on the class, they don't see what the campus looks like, they don't spend time there. Because there is so much time, students think they have a, you know, a lot more time and they don't use their time as effectively or efficiently as they could. The thing that's really sometimes hard is you have to separate yourself out from what your friends are doing. It has to be about what's the right fit for you. I'd like to get out of Florida because I've been here for my entire life. I grew, I'm born and raised in Florida, so I think getting out of Florida would be a good experience for me. The only in-state school I applied was Florida State. Um, I hope to pursue bigger musical aspirations outside of the state. I do definitely think that getting knowing what you want to do and getting trained and being the best that you can be in your profession is going to require more training. Many successful people have not gone to college, but it just improves your chances on having a successful career. I definitely think going to college is a really important part of your life. Um, it's a big transition from being a, um, you know, being a boy to going to being a man. That was some good advice. Next, Paul and Julia interviewed some personal stories from the basketball team. Let's check it out. I kind of 
started basketball as a little kid. Um, I always loved basketball. My uh, parents gave me pretty much any sport I wanted to play, and I ended up choosing basketball, and I'm happy I did. I feel like some kids burn out because they do it too much, but I don't think that's ever going to happen with me just because of the passion I have for it and how my parents support me through it. And I know that I'll always be happy if I just had basketball in my life. One day, I just fell in love with basketball because of my dad. So that's when I started playing basketball. My sister was a member of the national team, so she was like, basketball was always in my family. Now basketball is like my lifestyle. I can't live without it, but I started playing basketball because all my friends in my neighborhood were playing it. So I just went to practice, I liked it, and that's why I'm playing now. Our team has probably the best relationship of any, any team on campus. I mean, we're always close. I mean, all, I mean, we're joking around. We sit together in lunch. We're always around each other. I mean, when we go out, the first person we call is the team AM. I think we're really close as a team. We have a really good team this year. I'm expecting big things. But uh, outside of basketball, besides basketball, they are really one of my best friends. And I really enjoy being with them. Everyone is really like, we like a family. It, it should be a good long season, but uh, we've been working hard in the off season with uh, the spring, the summer, and the fall. So we're ready to get this game off. I see myself playing, uh, hopefully, at a D1 college, uh, hopefully playing for four years and uh, making a contribution to the team and maybe play professional after that. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. Probably I will stay here in college. I will finish college, and then I'll go back to Europe. But then we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yes, I already have uh, many scholarships, so, and I already commit. But my dream is to play in the NBA, and hopefully if I work hard enough, I'll make it. Next up is a quick recap David did on what happened during the homecoming week. Let's watch the video. My name's Bob and I'm a fairy tale. <laughs> I love Bob for that man. We are Oompa Loompas, you spoiled children. I dressed as Captain Hook from Peter Pan. I chose to be a fairy. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Happy Halloween. Oompa Loompa Doopa Dee Doo. I have another puzzle for you. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. If you are lazy and don't do your math, your life will spiral down the wrong path. Just like Dr. Williams. Just like Mr. Pezacek. Oompa. 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 I've got another puzzle for you. Wow, it's been an amazing half couple of months. I hope everyone will have an awesome winter break and a happy new year. And for those who are traveling, travel safe. I'm Lewis Kingsley. Thanks for watching.